Hello and welcome to the last part of modeling Kylo Ren. Now we are we have the full character ready, but we still have to do the sword. Um we are going to make the sword as a different part and I'm going to glue it in afterwards because my figurine broke from here. So I had to glue that in. And when you have glued, you you can't um, make it anymore if you're not sealing it with. Um, you you can seal it in a way that you add clay there, and then bake in uh, with the clay, kind of gluing it together. But at this point, it's uh, I wouldn't say it's worth. So, uh, let's check. This will most likely be a shorter video. Uh, the lightsaber we are making, um, it isn't like a regular lightsaber, it's not just a uh, uh, straight line, it, it has a little bit of flaming effect. So we are trying to make some ripple there. <coughs> Maybe add some uh, let's make the length first but yeah maybe add some uh, just a li uh, tiny bit of uh, metal wire to the uh, beginning of the sword. Figuring out if the length is uh, good. Yeah, I think that's good. setting the metal wire and uh, putting this side of the hand uh, under the wire making a line between the part of the blades and
weapons overall is always um, I I personally find it easy to make um, just uh, like you were be making some uh, food on the grill it's good to push it a little bit into the hand so it got uh, shape in there Measuring the length of the blades with my pro edge. Using the back side of my pro edge to make a lines here.
when making plates, uh, usually the thing that messes up is that it's aligned a little bit wrong. Um, there's a little things you can help it with uh, if you have a tip of a plate that goes a little bit smaller in the end you can add a tiny bit of clay under that tip so it stays aligned when it's baking otherwise it will go a little flat just check that the size is okay Yep. That would be the hand, this side of the hand then. As I said, this is a fast video because there isn't really much to do. Then I just take the size of the hand in consideration. <coughs> I'm not going to put this uh, for simple reason that how would I connect it to the hand, but I just measured how much uh, of the lightsaber's handle is uh, see a play on the other side where I'm going to glue this. It's it's. Just a little bit of uh, fucking dog hairs. Little bit of shape there. They always have flat end and. This one has uh, trying to get the camera closer. A small lines like this. The Darth Vader sword has these two.
lightsaber, so there's a few. sure if they're bottoms because they are just the same color as This, uh, it's best to bake this in an upwards position like that. Then it won't lose the shape. It won't be the lightsaber. I figured out one more thing what we are going to do. And actually that's not not the lightsaber yet. Um <coughs> Shape like this. Push it into the plates. And when when it's colored, then it will just look like this. Uh, tiny bit of uh, effect.
one longer one. a really bad idea without the cover of the blade.
add a little bit of clay to hold the or actually the best thing to do you can keep those small metal wires there but add these after the baking I I just didn't think this through uh, just a tiny drop of glue if you are going to make a thing like that okay the very last thing you have the sword and the this leg is a little bit higher so I'm going to make something to stand on it No, I'm firm works just fine, but since I have a lot of the original, I'm going to use that one because it's it works even better in a scenario like this. Uh, usually, I use uh, original. Sculpt in in situations like this where I form some kind of uh, platform. to do this on the hard surface which is my table
we have a footstep now. There's some balance problems. Have to add something under the cloak. And then I'm just That's it. Just uh, tiny. That uh, I will be painting that as a rock. So. giving it some you gonna do this afterwards better not because when it's cool but you can scrape it and sand it and I, I think that gives a better uh, very look of a rock. Okay, that ends this episode. I'm going to put this all in the oven. Uh, about 30, 40, f can be even hour or something like that in a little bit slower temperature. Uh, maybe 110 for one hour or hour and a half 
uh, well, when, it, when it comes to baking the what the box says it's his uh, suggestion but it doesn't hurt to bake it in lower temperature for a longer time I actually have baked for about four or five hours in one uh, about 100 and uh, it turned out much harder in the end when it had cured so I actually do prefer um, baking in a lower temperature for a lot longer and then let it cure I sometimes just turn off the oven and leave the object into the oven and it can slowly cure with the temperature lowering slowly but that ends this episode and um, I hope you enjoyed leave a like, dislike, subscribe and comment goodbye